Hello, everyone, and welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Today, we are going to be highlighting a terrible case of thinking that you have forever. You know, too often, a lot of women have it in their minds that they're going to always be young. They're going to always be vibrant. They're going to always have this grand pick of quote unquote high value men to choose from. And then they don't. We keep learning the hard way and things keep backfiring on us. We think that we can be for the streets, be ran through and still have a good, wholesome, providing, protecting masculine man waiting for us on the other side. But we're realizing that that is not only untrue, but that the men are absolutely checked out, okay? So much so that you have females going to singles events only to find out that there's only women there. Y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. Let's get into this. Ladies, I think it's a good time to tell you that I told you so. I told you a long time ago that this day would come to where men in mass were checked out and done. We already told you all about men being done with dating, men being done with marriage and family and settling down. So what in your rabbit mind would possess you to think that they would go to a singles event? See, too often while we're young, we feel like we'll always have all the time in the world to do what we want to do. And then when life whips our behind now we want to get ourselves together and play catch up but the thing is nobody is going to be there to help you play catch up it'll be a one woman job the days of the backup man the friend zone the stepdaddy, the cleanup man, that it's just gone. We're in a new time. And unfortunately, a lot of men would see you females at these singles groups as leftovers. Something has to be wrong with you. That's first things first. Why would I waste my time going to select through leftover females that are clearly desperate, so desperate to the point to where they would go to these dry events to try to find love? That's first things first. Second off, like I just said, a lot of men are just checked out because they're too busy focused on themselves and they've come to realize that unfortunately with a lot of females, it's a waste of time. And then last but not least, a lot of them are already off the market. They're already settled down. They already found their princess, their queen. You know, that young girl that you said was too young to settle down and that was dumb. Yeah, he married her. That little girl that you said, oh, girl, you need to be out here living your best life. 
What you settling down for? You too young. Yeah, her. She settled down. She's married. She has her quote unquote high value husband. She got him. She's happy. Mm -hmm. And while you were so busy telling her that she was too young to do what you're trying to do now, now, ma'am, you're too old. Whoopsie. But let's get into it, you all. You all like the video, share the video and subscribe and let's get into this. You know, apparently it is this thing that's going on to where women are going out trying to find their Prince Charmings at the singles events and the men are nowhere to be found. I wonder why. Let's play. All over the world. Singles events have now turned into a kind of only women's hangout party. Most of these women who attended these events, with the hope of finding a man to date, go back home angry and confused wondering why men are no longer eager to also attend these events and meet up with them. The reasons why this is happening are not so far-fetched, and I believe you could mention a few already. Back in 2020, just some weeks before lockdown started, a female colleague at work, who also happened to be an event planner, asked me to supply the drinks for a singles meet and greet event that she had planned for that weekend. Don't worry. I got paid for it, haha. I do not offer my services for free. Oh my gosh. <laughs> let's, let's pause for the pettiness. I said let's pause for the pettiness. So apparently one of his colleagues that just so happened to be a female, I am assuming, was putting together this singles dating event to where she was trying to get together men and women that were single so they can link up and possibly live happily ever after. She invited this man to come to, I guess, be the bartender. And he said he accepted because after all, it was pain. But he only went because it was pain. <laughs> men all over are just like, yeah, I wouldn't be caught dead in an event like this, but if you're going to give me some money, I'm going to go ahead and take it. That speaks to the climate. That speaks to the type of men that we're dealing with today. We're dealing with men that are about their bag. They don't have time to be surrounded by a bunch of females. They don't care about that. That comes a dime a dozen these days. And a matter of fact, a lot of these females are going to be just looking for a man to do something for her while she does nothing in return. Now, I understand that there are still some good quality women out there, okay? But let's be honest, you all, when it comes to a lot of females, they're sitting there like the Gross Sisters with their hands out. What can you do for me? Yeah, I'm going to this event because I'm looking for a man that is going to take care of me. So his petty remark was, hey, y'all, uh, let's not get this twisted. Yes, I was a man at the singles event, but I was only there because I was being paid. <laughs> Men don't even care about being surrounded by potentially beautiful women. If you don't make no money, if it's not adding on to my peace, my sanity, my prosperity, I don't want it and I don't care about it. So let's just uh, pause once again for that pettiness but let's continue so i got held up in traffic and i got there with the drinks when the party had already started i almost had to call her to confirm if i got the address right because the party that i had just arrived to wasn't a singles meet and greet but a feminist rally or something <laughs> the men i saw there were like four in a meeting of almost 100 i found the female colleague that ordered for the drinks talking to a bunch of women who looked pissed or should i say disappointed and while i was dropping off the drinks she started complaining to me about how the event was a total flop. Damn. You know, it's bad when the women even have to admit that it's a flop when it comes to the dating scene and men just not being available for these women. That's sad. It's a sad reality when you have to admit that it's trash out here. 
a lot of men have just unfortunately come to the conclusion of it's a waste of time. Me mingling and talking to a bunch of gimme, gimme females, it's just not, it's not worth it. Lord, let's continue though. She said despite the fact that she pleaded with some of the single men she personally knew, they refused to attend. She tried to urge me to stay around for a while, but you know, man's got to work, so I left immediately. I later spoke to one of the men, who was also a co-worker, that she personally invited. I wouldn't say I was shocked about his reasons for not showing up at the party, because they are obvious reasons. He said to me, If you already knew that a journey you are about to embark on would turn out bad, would you still go? I just came up with an excuse for Maurice on why I couldn't attend. But to be honest, there's no way I would go to an event where women practice their egotistical behaviors and reject almost every man they meet out there. He continued. He gave Maurice, the female colleague who hosted the event, an excuse on why he couldn't make it to the party later on. So the point from this story is, his reasons were completely understandable. Most of these single modern women who attend these singles events are particularly still single for a reason. Uh-oh. Let's pause. Are y'all peeping game on the mentality of these men? First things first, he already let you know that he's focused on his money. He's focused on business. Not really somebody that is going to be enticed or thrilled just by entertaining a bunch of females. That's first things first. Peep the game on that. A lot of men are just really business focused and money driven. And they've come to realize that dealing with females will kind of subtract from that. Not even kind of like they will subtract from that. They will be a distraction. So a lot of men have just kind of shifted their focus away from just being so female and sex based. Okay. That's first things first. Second off, if you pay attention to what he said, uh, his male coworker said, as far as going to this singles event, he said, you know, I already kind of know how it's going to go. Why would I waste my time doing something when I already know the end result? That speaks volumes to how a lot of men are viewing women today. Y'all are all the same. You all want a man that is going to wine and dine you, take care of you while you give him what? Nothing. Whatever you feel like in return. So a lot of guys already, unfortunately, have it in the back of their minds that they already know the end result. So why even waste my time when I could be making money or I could be focusing on my business or whatever brings me interest or happiness or peace, but surely not mingling around with a bunch of, and I'm sorry to put it like this, but this is how men perceive this, a bunch of has been leftover females. Yeah, I, I, I would rather not. And that's sad. That's really sad that men view us like that. But it's due to how a lot of us conduct ourselves, what a lot of us are about, you know. And let's be honest, a lot of these females that are going to be at these singles events, they're the most likely to be those type of chicks. So where they're only looking for a man now that is later in life and they need help and they've wasted a lot of their youth on BS. Let's just be honest. So if the if men are perceiving the majority of women to be a particular type of way, which is very selfish, um, very manipulative, all about the bag that she can snag, um, very lazy, self-centered, egotistical, and all of these different things. How do you think that they're going to view these women at these events? To where he just said, you're obviously still single for a reason. And again, that's sad because I know that there are still good women out there. But unfortunately, they made a bad reputation for us. 
the majority of women out here being um, bag chasers and snaggers, being gold diggers, being for the streets, being ran through, wasting their time and all of this and just looking for a handout. Yeah, like a lot of men view all women like that, especially the ones that are going to be at these singles events. Like, girl, I know you're a red flag. You mean to tell me you just can't go out and meet a man on your own? You need to go into a space to where it is designed for you to meet somebody? Are you that off-putting? Just saying. And again, that's sad. Let's continue. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. They are mostly the type of women who have an unrealistic standard in men. Like a friend would say, they are the 666 crooners. They want a man earning six figures, having six packs, and also at least six feet tall. These women want the top 1% high-value men who are, of course, either in a relationship or too high-value to attend a singles meet and greet. So when these women go to these events and they do not meet these top 1% men, they reject the other men around that do not meet their required six feet or required stature and figure. Oh, let's pause again. Did y'all peep that game? He said the majority of these women that are going to be at these singles events are not only egotistical, pretty much leftover females that, you know, are looking for a man to take care of them, but they're looking for a particular type of man to take care of them, right? Which is once again, um, the man with a, a bunch of money that's tall, handsome, got a lot going for himself, rich. They're looking for that 1% of men, right? And he went on to say that more than likely those men are not gonna be at a singles event those men are already off the market or they have their pick of women just based upon who they are so they don't have to go to an event to find a woman that's first things first second off he's saying that it's a waste of time for men to go to these type of events because more than likely if you are there as a guy you're not going to be that one percent which means that those same women are not going to be checking for you anyway. You're not tall enough. You're not buff enough. You're not rich enough. You don't make enough money. You don't drive this type of car. You're not cute enough. So he's saying like, yeah, that's really a waste of time because I'm not, I'm not the 1%. So going to this type of event would be pretty much a bust. Okay not going to work these women are desperate y'all like the video share the video and subscribe the way that a lot of men will perceive these women at these singles events are that they're desperate they're lonely they're washed up and they're looking for a savior and not only are they looking for a savior they're looking for a particular type of savior and if you're not going to be the Prince Charming savior, they're not going to take too kindly to you talking to them. So again, why even go? And the irony of it all is, and it's no shade, but the irony of it all is these women are not even going to be top tier women, but yet they're looking for the top tier men. Let's continue. And again, y'all like the video. It gets worse. Some even go as far as shunning, ignoring, disrespecting, and insulting these men. Now tell me why would a 5'11 man that gets insulted for being too short by a 4'7 girl decide to go for another singles event full of these types of women? Or why would a fit man but without visible muscular arms let an obese woman tell him that he is not fit enough? The Hold on. Hold on, y'all. But that, <laughs> that's funny, but it goes right in alignment with what I just said. These females that are going to be at these e singles events, they're going to be looking for the top of the line men. Whole time, they're not the top of the line women, you know, or their standard of what a man should be 
is not even something that is reasonable. You know, you're four eleven talking about, oh, I need a man that's six foot. You know, you're only five eleven. You're too short, ma'am. Everybody is tall to you. What are you talking about? But this is the type of mentality. He went on to talk about women that are, you know, obese, looking for a man that has big muscles, that eats right, that exercises, takes care of himself. And the whole time she does none of that. She is not the reflection of that type of man that she's looking for. She is not his equal. But again, this is what a lot of guys have to deal with. And that's why they're not dealing with it at all. Let's continue. And again, like the video, share the video, and subscribe. This is some real talk. The worst one is getting termed broke without even getting a chance to be introduced. Singles events have turned into low-key rejection fests. And thankfully, now that men have woken up, they are just women hangouts. Just stay at home, man. You'd meet women at natural public places. Let these modern women chase those chads who will never attend those events, and even when found outside, will never commit to them. Another reason why women are angry that men have boycotted singles events is that it punctures their ego. These modern women are so used to rejecting men, and when men decide to not even give them a chance to talk to them, or when they get ignored by men, they get livid. It's high time they knew that they are not the prize, and men will no longer settle for them, just because they met one random event. Some of these women also fall under the category of gold diggers. Walking into the gathering of women at a singles event is like walking into a group of women with their lawyers ready to file for alimony, child support, and ruin you. So like my colleague back there said, if you already knew that a journey you are about to embark on would turn out bad, would you still go? So why would any sane man decide to ruin his life either by getting rejected and his self-esteem reduces or through alimony, child support, and other financial burden. Finally, when you take away the average women who reject any man that's not way above their level and the gold diggers waiting to use you for a source of livelihood, the set of women that usually remains at singles events are the women who are way past their prime. The single mothers, the divorcees, the women in their 30s, 40s, or obese women, etc., some of these events require men to pay a certain sum of money so that they can get invited while the women as usual get to come in for free. So imagine paying $200 or more just to get there and meet women that are not the bare minimum. Oh, ouch. <laughs> ouch. Lord. Ugh. This is pitiful. This is sad. You know, ouch. That's all I can say is ouch, but is he lying though? You know, a lot of guys are like, why even waste my time doing all of that when I'm not even going to get a decent chick? You know what I mean? You want me to go out there and sell myself to these women that are not even going to offer me anything in exchange for my contribution. And they're not even somebody I would want to look at. You know, they're not even somebody I would want to talk to or touch or be with Mary. Settle down. So why? Why even do all of this? These are the leftover women. And I, I know y'all hate that, but that is how men see it, which is once again, why I always said, hey, ladies, while you're young, find you a good man, settle down with him, build with him, appreciate him, because I'm telling y'all, Thinking that you're going to be able to waste all of your youth, waste all of your time, give your body up and get ran through and all of that and still have these guys waiting for you at the end, it's not happening. And see, when I was being real and authentic with you all like that and telling y'all the truth, giving y'all the reality, making sure that you were being realistic, Y'all said that I was promoting struggle love. Y'all said that I was teaching women to settle. No, now you're having to settle by having a large friend group of females that are just as lonely as you are. Why? Because the men that you could have settled down with, that you could have built with, they're off the market. They already have the woman that 
was ready and willing to build with them and they're living comfortably now or these men are just so checked out completely that they're enjoying life being single they're enjoying life with their rotation too much to settle down with one woman especially considering the fact that you know a lot of women are not even going to meet all of your requirements so you might as well have a rotation and again i don't even promote uh, a rotation or sleeping around and creeping around I, I, that is not what i promote at all but i understand it though dealing with today's women i gotta be honest all right and again y'all like the video it's the real talk it may be harsh you may not like it but it's real talk dealing with today's woman to where all she wants is for you to do everything for her while she sits back and quote unquote rests in her laziness or femininity she'll call it that's that's not a good deal you don't cook you don't clean you're not submissive you're not cooperative you're not in shape you don't respect me you don't listen to me you don't honor me like but i'm going to give all of that up to settle down with you why would i do that when i can have a rotation to where she cooks for me she cleans for me um she submits to me she commits like this is the mentality of a lot of men today you can't get all that you're looking for in one woman so you gotta have a roster and again that's trash pathetic and sad because a man should be able to find all that he's looking for in one woman he absolutely should that is what in the past used to entice men to get married because guess what when i marry her i'm going to get good sex good food good treatment good love support i'm going to get all of that so yeah i'll ditch all of these other women because when i settle down with her i'm gonna get all i'm looking for but that's not what's going on today you need a whole roster of women to make up for one and that's trash and sad and again why do that why would i do all of that when i'm going to set myself up to get the bare minimum woman not a good idea let's continue i mean most men do not even set unrealistic standards of certain shape certain net worth or certain type of weight but still no man will go for the women with obesity that do not even care to lose the weight or the single mothers who would want them to take full responsibility for their kids. And just like the MGTOW and the Passport Bros movement, men taking the massive leap to boycott these singles events is delightful. The days when these events were still about meeting women, discussing, having a meaningful conversation, I myself would advise it to men as it is a wonderful idea. But the modern women that attend these events these days are a no-no. They are to be ignored to avoid being ruined. I'll tell y'all men to keep avoiding these events. It is not for us. In fact, staying single is wise during this period if you are not prepared to find a traditional woman and settle down. Focus on yourself. Stay optimistic. Avoid these hoes and build yourself up to the top 1% of men. So anyway, you all know what time it is. It's time to call it a day. Well... well there you have it <laughs> and honestly i cannot be mad with it um i can argue with it and i respect it i really do and it's because i too as a woman natural born i too see the climate i too see the mentality the lifestyle of a lot of these females and yeah it's it's looking like it's not worth it I mean, women argue with me and all I'm saying to be is a common courtesy human, common decency human. And it's just like, oh my God, who told you that? Who told you that us women should be doing those things? You're teaching us to settle. You're teaching us struggle love. You're, you're the bottom of the barrel. You're male identified. You hate women. It's just like, okay, let's see where you end up. 
And that was way back then when they were saying those things about me. You know, they told me that, you know, well, I'll see how your marriage pans out and I'll see where you end up and I'll see and I'll see, I'll see. Well, where are you? At a singles event full of women looking for a husband, looking for a man that I told you wouldn't be there if you continue down that path. Yeah. So this is unfortunate. And I thought that I would share this with you all because, again, it's just one of those things to where I told y'all so. I told y'all to not think that you would always have these men waiting around for you forever. I told y'all to use your youth wisely. I told you all to not think that this would not happen to you. And by this, I mean being stranded and alone. Y'all thought that y'all would always be the baddest chicks. Y'all thought that y'all would always have your top of the line picks. And look at you now. Let me ask my brothers, because I know y'all in the chat, all right? Put a one in the chat if you, as a man, would go to a singles event to find love. Put a two in the chat if you would not. You feel like it's a lost cause and a waste of time. Y'all let us know, all right? But from what we can see, yeah. It's looking like men are done and checked out, and that's sad for y'all. But again, I told you so. All of that, thinking that you have forever, backfired, didn't it? But I love y'all. I respect y'all. I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. I look forward to see what numbers you all put in the chat or in the comment section down below. And if you all could tell me why or why not that would be beautiful as well but ladies the men will speak the men will let you know how they feel and you know what's going on as far as the dating scene and why they are checked out or are not checked out but until then you all i'll see you all in the next dope discussion much love and peace to my crown heads